Pisces, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. So we can see here that you're feeling a lack of doubt within yourself, beautiful soul, in regards to a particular creation that you are looking to resolve. And whether this is attracting in a relationship, whether this is attracting in more money, either way, we can see here that it's causing you um, some internal stress, okay? And we feel like you might be feeling doubtful in regards to your creator abilities. And we may be feeling like you may even be missing, you may, you may feel like you feel like you're missing out on opportunities. Like you may feel like you've, you know, you're not doing enough or, you know, you're just feeling a little bit closed off. And so when we are closed off energetically, the, where most of our energy comes from is our heart center. And as we know, right, whenever we've been burned, bruised, or wounded, we're going to close that right down, that shut, we're going to shut that portal right down. And so uh, when we continuously practice living life with a shut down heart portal, uh, you know, energy center, the difficulty is we usually go straight up to our head, right? So we start thinking a lot. So our mind is very active. The difficulty with our mind being active is we start to live life with this wobble. Should I stay? Should I go? Is this right? Is this not right? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this not what I'm supposed to be doing? And the difficulty with all of those wobbly thoughts is it puts us in this, um, this, this, this really split energetic state. Because basically what happens is you're like, I want to do this, but should I do this? Should I do this? It's all this split energy, right? And this split energy is splitting your energy, making you feel like you were without, when as a matter of fact, you have everything you need to succeed here on planet Earth. But when we have contradictory thoughts, and again, the thoughts, right? When we have contradictory thoughts, we're splitting our energy. If we are responding from the heart guidance, then we are feeling whole because we feel like we are being guided from a truth that is not splitting, you know? And so the, the, the fact of the matter is, we just got to get you back to that heart center because um, at this point, it's going to, things are going to feel like things are going to, we want to remind you, right? Okay. Pisces, you are a natural born entrepreneur and you always will be, this will never leave this, 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 if you ever feel like you're missing opportunities or you've missed out in life or you're, you're already at this age, ha ha, that, that stupid thing that people say, it doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter where you are in this game of life. It doesn't matter what you've come from or who you are, or what you have, nothing of that matters. What matters is what you want to do, right? And we see here that you are an entrepreneur and that will never change because being a Pisces, most likely you will not enjoy being told what to do because let's face it, you are a creative and us creatives don't like being told what to do because a part of us fully understands that we are free spirits here on planet earth. So when we are, uh, have to conform, we don't like that, right? So you are an entrepreneur and you're here to create art in the way that you create art, right? So whatever you do could never be wrong because it's what you do. So it's never wrong because you're never wrong. It's always what you decide you want to do. Remember, you can do anything in this game of life. And this is a concept that when I was on my journey, I didn't understand this, but you can do anything you put your mind to. And what that means is whatever you focus on, you will receive the answers, right? Whatever you focus on though, with an open heart, meaning that whatever you focus on with a, with a curiosity, with an intrigue, with an interest, uh, with, with satisfaction, enjoyment, bliss, whatever you focus on where you're open to that journey unfolding, you will become the master at it. It is only just a matter of time. I focus my energy on literally studying energy and alignment and how energy feels. I've literally been focusing on this for the last five years now or so. And so I've just become good at it because I've been focusing on it. That's it. And it hasn't, it's not like I am deliberate about it. Well, I am deliberate about it. I shouldn't say that. It does, it's not that I stress myself out about it. Mind you, sometimes I do, but not so much anymore, but I did. And, you know, we go through that journey of, 
overdoing it and then underdoing it and then overdoing it and then getting burnt out and then getting back to it. It's, it's that touch and go. But we just want to remind you, right, that on your, on your, in this game of life right now, no matter what, right, the choice is always yours. The choice is always yours to decide what you want to do. It's just deciding what you want to do, how you want to express yourself, you see. And sometimes knowing this doesn't come right away. Sometimes this comes with experience, you see. You can take a pause and uh, read this card if you like. This is the message from the angels. So it, it's, it's going to come with experience. And so the best thing, the best advice I can offer you and we can offer you and from my experience here is to feel comfortable with yourself. And so that means that you never want to neglect on making the best choice for yourself, um, mind, body, and soul, because that will allow you to feel more comfortable within yourself. That means if you know you have to wake up early, but you've been sleeping in, you got to correct that because it's an energy thing, right? If you know, you know, if you know that exercise is going to help you, which it will, you want to start doing that. Even if you wake up early, go for a nice walk, bribe yourself, Pisces, say, you know what? I'm going to go for my walk and then I'm going to come home and have an extra large latte or whatever that, whatever you want to do, whatever the flavor of the day is. If you have to give yourself little snippets along the way, you got to do that for yourself, right? I do that with myself all the time. I sit down, I'm trying to limit caffeine as much as I can. Here's my little espresso shot. This is what I get, right? I, but I wake up and I get my exercise done first. And then I come and sit down and I have my espresso shot and uh, connect with spirit and so forth, right? So we just want you to know that you will have a, a, an easier time opening your heart if you are comfortable within your own energy body. And what that really means is you want to make sure, again, that you are taking care of the necessary, um, the necessary uh, action steps to clear your energy, feel good in your, in your avatar, right? So that when you feel good, you are able to, pardon me, open your heart easier because when we feel good, we're more open, right? It's, it's just how she goes. So when we do the necessary things to take care of ourselves, eat healthy foods, not to overeat when in a state of emotional state, right? The body will always let you know what it needs. But when we are in an emotional state, uh, that would be the time that you would want, not want to do anything. When you are in a, uh, when you are, um, observing emotions in your body, remember you are not your emotions. So when you're observing emotions in your body, you simply want to allow those emotions to come and go before you make any simple dis or any decisions, not simple decisions, but any decisions of any kind. Your affirmation for today, beautiful soul, is I play with the world. And this card says, my needs are met and everything is in the right order. All I desire is on its way to me. There is nothing left for me to do but play with the world. And your journal prompt for today is how will I celebrate my life right now? How will I celebrate my life right now? So you see, Pisces, things are going to unfold when they unfold. And when you're in this state of indecision, we want you to remind you, right? You never want to make a choice off of emotion or off of the thinking thoughts alone. It really has to be a heartfelt thing. So when you are in an energy of this five of swords, which is feeling, you know, a little bit conflicted, um, you know, kind of feeling like, you know, your ego's at large, you know, feeling like you not, you need to hurry up and do things. You know, you're not good enough. You need to be farther along. You need to be better. You know, all the things that the ego tells us that we are not right. Just remember all of that, um, um, ego conversation is only going to lead to unfocused energy and it's going to only going to lead to workaholic tendencies and you don't need to work really hard. You need to work smart right? And it's an energy thing. So for instance, I exercise, but I don't need to kill myself at the gym for two hours. I literally exercise for 12 minutes a day, five minute warm up, eight minute cool down stretching. But the whole workout is like 12 to 15 minutes a day, right? And so, um, and that keeps me lean, that keeps me uh, in shape, and that keeps hormones good. And so it doesn't need to be a lot. Same with our, our practices, right? With whatever we do. Whenever the energy is flowing and you feel inspired, that's the time to pick up the pen. That's the time to get going and creating, right? And what, when we practice forms of, um, when we, when we, discover for ourselves what it is we can do to keep ourselves in that flow state longer. Like for me, I will have espresso with me. For me, I will have exercised prior. That way I've cleared my energy. So my, my, um, channel is receptive because you are a giant antenna, a big channel, basically, right? A portal to the, to the other world. Let's just make this all mystical and fun, right? That's, that's basically what you are. And so when you exercise, um, again, doesn't not long, just exercise, to get the body moving vigorously, right? 
then what you do is you open, you clear your channels and it's easier for you to be more receptive. If you want to know who I exercise with, it's Zuzka Light, Z-U-Z-K-A-L-I-G-H-T. It's like 15 bucks a month and got everything you need from beginner to intermediate, you're covered. Universe's message for you today is they chose you. Universe says you might not really you might not readily believe this. It might even spook you a bit, but there are those who chose this very lifetime in large part knowing you'd be there. Now that's what we call a reputation. The universe. We love you so much, Pisces. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.